for the Fort Warriors. And that will have your starting lineups. for the Trojans, Phillips, Nolan, Rominger, Edge, and Desort. And now your Warriors. I believe the fans are getting a little vocal here for this men's action here tonight. Lady for Oglethorpe. Evett, 42. J.R. Jones, number 14. He's the man to watch tonight for the Lady Warriors, Steve. Number 11, Andy Thompson. Mike Palm. Kevin Taylor, number 30. Starter lineup for the Golden Age Trojans, number 13, Chuck Phillips, number 11, Andy Nolan, number 33, Chip Rominger, and number 31, Chris Edge, 23, David Desort. Steve, what can we look for out of the uh, Golden Age Trojans tonight? Chick, I feel like we've got about 12 boys on this team that can play at any time. Uh, we can make substitutions and uh, and not see any any difference in the kids. I think we've got 12 boys that are equal of equal talent, and that's what I look to see is a lot of a lot of substitutions and a, a a good rested Gordon Lee team. Tonight, look for number 14, J.R. Jones. He's the man for the late for the Lakeview Warriors. He can fill it up outside. He plays tough inside. Definitely college prospect, and we're ready for action. Desert. Jones for the tip off here at high school action. UCTV this week in sports, game of the week. Edge has it, it's going to be stripped from him. It's going to be Gordon Lee's ball. Ball inbound. Rominger throwing it in outside to Nolan. Nolan wants a three pointer early. Nolan fills it up. Good, Good point. Uh, Nolan. Nolan, look for him to shoot the ball outside a lot tonight. Jones, that's the man they want with it. Inside, though, to number 42. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Lakeview's ball. Number 42 for Lakeview. Chad Everett. Chad Everett. Chad Everett? Chad Everett. Oh, I thought you said Chad Everett. Star. Jones throwing the ball in. Pass out to number 11, Andy Thompson. Thompson dribbling around. Blocked by Edge. Edge hustling out there in that 1-2-2 one, one, two, two defense. Jones with a shot. No good on the jumper. Rebound, Evett, ball going to be knocked out of bounds by Rominger, but they're calling a foul on Rominger. I believe they call a foul on the floor on number 33, Chip Rominger. I'm impressed with uh, this Jones boy to be as tall as he is and move around like oh, he does. Oh, he's got a lot of ability, Steve. Look for fine things out of him tonight. At the line, number 11, Andy Thompson. Thompson shot good. Second shot up by Thompson. Good. 3-2 score. 7.25 to go. Nolan with the ball for the Trojans. Senior port guard brings it down. Romans are out on the wing. He can hit it out there. Trying to get it inside the edge. Good hustle on defense by Lakeview. Number 30 was laying on the ground there on the floor. Chig, Good and hustle he, by Kevin Taylor. He was out of bounds, though, when he touched the ball and should have been called. Speaking uh, out of bounds. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Lakeview for the overthrow. Warriors with the ball out of bounds. Ball inbounds out to top Thompson. Thompson checking out this defense from Gordon Lee. Edge trying to block him out, unable to. Thompson moving around. They want to get it to J.R. Jones. Jones across court, throwing it underneath to the center. It's going to be blocked by Phillips, but they're going to get Phillips with a foul. I guess this uh, Warrior team, Chig, will average about 6'2". Six, six Looks like it will, except for Thompson out there. It's point guard. They've got a little bit of size, Steve. Gordon Lee Trojans, well, they're a little bit smaller. Chuck Phillips being their big man. 
Well, I and Jordan checks that up, but uh, even uh, even Thompson looks to be approximately six foot tall. So uh, they've got a very tall team on the floor right now. Good ball team. We got a three-three tie with six forty-nine to go in the first quarter. Take a shot up, good by number thirty, Kevin Taylor. Press fixing to be put on the Gordon Lee Trojans. Nolan trying to see how to break the press. Bad pass. Johnny Howard Jones with a great effort. Jones, quick hands. He gets the ball. Jones is open. And Denolan with a good steal right there after making an air at pass. See a foul on number 30. Foul going to be on number 30. Kevin Taylor. Inbounds pass edge. Edge to Nolan. Nolan trying to move it into the Zort. Zort back out to Nolan. Nolan wants the ball. Nolan dribbling back to Edge. Edge inside. No one there. Knocked out by Lakeview. Warriors bring it down to Thompson. Thompson hits his man on the wing. He's driving baseline. Baseline's not there. Good block by Edge. Ball rebounded by Andy Nolan. We got a fight for the ball. And yes, number 42, Chad Evett brings it out. Gerard Jones throws it back out to Thompson. They reset the offense. Jones wants it. He's got the jumper. Shot up good by Jones. 6-3 lead with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Nolan to bring the ball down. He's got his man, Rominger. Rominger with the save. Back top of key, three-point shot. Nolan, good. Andy Nolan. Two on two of the three-point line tonight, Steve. That's all our points. 6-6 six, six game. J.R. Jones answers with another jumper. No good. Rebound. Levy for those throw. He's on the line. It'll be Trojan's ball. A little bit of action going here, Steve, with 5.39 in the first quarter. Nolan bringing it up against Thompson. Working it out to Edge on the wing. Edge covered by Jones. Romger inside. He's got his move up ball out to Edge. Edge wants his shot. He throws it inside to Nolan. Ball out. Gordon Trojans keep the ball. Good a hustle there by Andy Thompson there. Good defense by Lake before over the Romger inbounds pass underneath the goal. He throws it out. Nolan wants it. No, he throws it to Edge. Edge inside the Zort. Ball stripped. Warriors ball. Warriors playing tough inside, Chig. They're shutting the inside game out. They're forcing Gordon Lee to go to the outside, and Gordon Lee's only had two three-point buckets by Andy Nolan to have their scoring tonight. Thompson slows it down. They start to move the ball. Resort fakes to try to steal. No, not able to. Good steal by Edge. They're unable to take it. Shot. Jumper up. Good. Number 20, Mike Palm with the shot. 8-6 ball game. Got a good ball game here, Steve. Real good ball game. Uh, a lot of height inside. We're going to see a real exciting ball game here tonight, Chig. Edge with the ball on the wing, trying to make a move. Fakes it inside, throws it back out to Nolan. Going to be a foul. Be a foul on Jones, I believe. <laughs> foul against Jones. First, team second. 434 to play. Late view. Well, those no, so Warriors lead it eight to six. I'd like to thank Miss Cindy Dodson for helping me with the starting lineups for both these teams tonight. Thanks again, Cindy Dodson. Pass inside to Romser. Romser on the wing. He's deadly with that outside shot when he gets hot. Nolan's got the ball. He's going to be fouled by number 11, Andy Thompson. I've seen Romser really hit it outside, and uh, his older brother, if it had been a three-point line when he was playing, he would have been deadly out there. Chip uh, had a little injury down at Northwest Whitfield the other night. He's got a hip pointer and a bruised rib, and he's not playing as well as he can. I hope he comes through tonight. It's a little tentative and sore when you get underneath and get banged on like that. Nolan shot up off the front of the rim. He follows it up and gets the rebound, passes it to Zort inside Phillips. Phillips with the jumper. It's going to be off the front of the rim. Rebound, Rominger, but over his back it's going to be number 42, Chad Abbott. Uh, Lakeview Fort Oldfield, uh, four of their eight points. Uh, Chad come, come from the free throw line. And uh, all six of Gordon Lee's points come from three-point three, three point shots. Eight-six ball game. Warriors lead. Out top to Edge. Edge moving it around. Romager's got the shot. Jumper. No good. Rebound. Edge. Edge. Edge rebound. No good. Phillips will rake it down. Try to be good. He'll go to the free throw line. Chuck Phillips showing that offensive lineman power underneath right there. And he brings that rebound down. Sort of like what we've seen Monday night with Bonner. Yeah, uh, Chuck shows a lot of strength inside there. He's got a good leaping ability, a good eye for the goal, and a real tough man inside. 
I believe that's Chad Everett's uh, second foul, and that boy gets in foul trouble. It might hurt him a little bit. Phillips shot up and good. Three-point play, 9-8, scored. Trojans take the lead. Hope everyone enjoyed the Monday night game of the week, girls game of the week. You've seen it Monday, 6 o'clock here on UCTV. You're watching men's action now here live. No, we're not live. We're taped delay from Lakeview, Fort Oglethorpe. Home of the Warriors. Moving the ball around is the Warriors right now. Good hustle by Edge. Moving the ball inside Thompson. Thompson wants a jumper. He'll take it. In and out. Rebound. Lakeview. Oh, Fort me. Foul. Nolan got it back. Nolan. Ball goes in. Basket count. There, Andy Nolan went up, Chig, and he was caught up in there. And uh, number 42, Chad Everett, goes up with a shot. And he was... There's no way that Andy could keep him fouling him. He was hung up in there, and, and Matt, Everett jumped up under him. substitutions here, Steve. We have number... 21, Kevin Pickard. 43. 41, Brandon Wooten. And number 43, Chris Neighbors. Chris Neighbors. Got a little tongue tied there, Chig. Is it as easy as it sounds? I mean, Gordon Lee will <laughs> use a lot of ball players tonight, won't they, Steve? I, I feel like we'll see uh, at least 10 or 11 ball players play tonight. Now to give some rest on... On this Gordon Lee team, that could be a factor. Wooten got the wide open pass. Picker, Picker takes it in, drive. Oh no! Can't miss that easy layup like that, Steve. That'll hurt the Trojans. Shot like that, they had a chance to tie it up with 3:20. J.R. Jones got the ball on the wing, out the top of the key to Thompson. Jones will take the three-pointer. Shot up, good. Foul going to be called underneath against number 42, Chad Evett. That may be three on him, Chick. Let's see if the basket will count. It, it was. It was after the shot. It's only his second. Chick, we saw a mistake that a lot of kids make. When Kevin Picker came down with the ball, instead of just making a layup, he pulled up and shot maybe what you call just a little layup jumper. jumper. And if he had gone in for the layup, I believe he would have had the, he, he just didn't have the touch on the ball. And, you know, nerves are on edge. And uh, we'll settle down here and play some better ball. Right there, Romans are at the line. Shot up. Rolls around good. Kevin Pickard come on and done a good job for the Gordon Lee Trojans in football this year, Steve, and I'm sure they was glad down in Chickamauga. Kevin Pickard, him out there. a real, good athlete. real good natural athlete. Second shot by Romger, it's going to be good. Makes it a 13-11 game for the Warriors of Lakeview for those folks. Coming in is number 44, Jimmy Costner. This boy appears to be 6'6", 6'7", Chig. Good size fella. A lot of hype on this young man. Let's see if he'll be a factor underneath and around the boards. Moving it out on the wing to Jones. Back to Thompson, top of the key. He still wants to get it to Jones. Jones likes that baseline. He makes a good move, good pass, but unable to handle it was number 20, Mike Parham. Jones still handling the ball. Parham has it. Parham to Thompson. Thompson back to Parham. Gordon Lee playing a good zone defense right now. Pickard sliding through. Here's the big man with the height, Costner. Costner tra tra trap. He throws it underneath, saved by Palm. Jones will take the jumper. Jones jumper off the front of the rim, rebound. Lakeview Warriors, 30s up with it. It's going to be a foul. They're going to call it on Nolan. Uh, I didn't know to see that. Uh, there was a little slapping going on around in there, and uh, uh, but Nolan drew the foul while uh, Romanger was blocking the shot. I don't know what happened there. We're talking about number 44, Costner. We. I said he looks six seven or six eight, but he's dwarfing a man there beside him, Chris Neighbors, who stands about six four, six five. So Costner must be about six ten. Look at that foot on him, Gabe. We can get a shot of that shoe that young man's got on. What is that, Steve? Is that a size fifteen shoe he's got on? I don't That's know. That's got to be every bit of. Look here on the monitor. Yeah, That's he's a big foot. He's got that. Yeah, I believe he's six 15, nine. Six, he's, he's six nine. Wears a size fourteen, I believe. <laughs> no doubt about that. That's a good size boy. We'd like to have him on our roster, I'll tell you that. When I say our roster, I don't mean to be partial, but I am from Gordon Lee. and, uh, <laughs> and uh, All right, you're partial. We I'm understand. partial. Rominger with the ball. Passes inside to Pickard. Rominger back outside. Rominger with a the jumper. There's the big man with the block. Costner brings it down. He shows he's a force inside right there, Steve. Yeah. Moving in rounds, number 30, Taylor. Taylor back out. Palm got it. He wants the jumper. No, he throws it. Thompson will take it. Thompson from the three, three point. Play. They call it two pointer. Yeah, they're gonna call that the two pointer. He shot it from in front of the line. 16-11. Like you pulled over for the lead. Picker trying to get it inside to Wooten. Wooten will kick it right out of bounds. 
Oh, me. Turnover there by the Trojans. Coming into ball game number 25. Scott McCary comes into the ball game for Kevin Pickard. This boy right here, I got a lot of confidence in his play, as I do all the boys, but uh, Scott McCary shows a lot of ball handleability, and uh, if he had to play in time, some of these other boys did, I feel like he'd be a real outstanding player, Chick. Ladies not, I'm not say, by the Jones. I'm not saying that he's not, but uh, I'm not saying he's not an outstanding player, but I'm talking about he's a real good player and handles the ball well, but if he had to play in time, he'd be super, super tough. 120 to go, 16-11 score. Moving inside to McCray. Cray looking for someone. He's got Nolan. Nolan standing just outside the three-point line. He likes that shot. He could have took it there. Brandon Wooten working against the big man. Wooten gets it to Ramos. Ramos drives. He's got a man wide open. Chris Neighbors. Neighbors with the shot. Two points. Good job of ball movement there by the Trojans. Worked the ball to the middle. And, of course, Chris Neighbors shows good ability there and uh, gets the pass inside and jumps up for two. J.R. Jones throws it back to the top of the key. Jones on the wing. He wants that ball. They move it inside, Palm. Palm has the ball. Palm back to the top of key. They've got it over to number 30, Taylor. Taylor back to the top of key. Gordon Lee playing good defense right now. Palm posting up in the middle. Trying to get the ball back across the top. Palm wants the shot. No, he's going to pass it. Thompson on three the three-pointer. Thompson's three-point shot, no good. Roman brings it up. He's got Brandon Wooten. Brandon Wooten drives. Brandon Wooten, two points. Points are good. Good pass, 16-15 game. 17 seconds to go in the quarter. J.R. Jones brings it He walked it there, Chig. Thompson working it outside. They're going to try to take the last shot with the eight seconds. Got to move now if they're going to get the shot. Good screen underneath. Shot up. No good. Rebound, Rominger. Rominger and Jones fighting for the rebound. Possession goes to... Chig, we got no time on the clock. Gordon Lee, but the time's out here. We, we may be at a fraction of a second. Got to shoot on the touch, Steve. I don't believe this is possible to get a shot off with zero seconds. No good. Shot will not count. So it's in the first quarter. You score. Maybe you put over Warriors 16. Gordon Lee Trojans 15. We'll take it back to the station at UCTV. Cablevision 3. You're watching the UCTV. This week in sports. Game of the week. People are rushing to Rick Bus Armando's on Lafette Road in Fort Oglethorpe to get the hamburger Georgia waited for. Rick uses only fresh ingredients, crisp lettuce, juicy red tomatoes, American cheese, fresh onions, pickles, mustard, and ketchup to make the best hamburger you've ever eaten. That's the hamburger Georgia waited for. Rick Bus Armando's on Lafette Road in Fort Oglethorpe. But if you don't want a hamburger, try his new cold cut hoagie. Delicious. Rick Bus Armando's. The Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia, has everything imaginable for your Christmas joy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas down at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. Trees, wreaths, garlands, Christmas cards, and a large selection of ornaments. They also have nativity scenes, and Janie can fit your color theme that'll match your taste. That's right. Whether it be an old Christmas or a new Christmas, stop by and see Janie Teeters. Ornaments like the Santa face chosen by Nancy Reagan for the White House Christmas tree. Whatever your taste is, you can get it at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. New hours Monday through Friday from 10 o'clock until 6 and on Saturday from 10 until 6 also. Christmas cards, Christmas joy, all at Jackie's Pools Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia. Because it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys at every store. Stop by and see Jackie Pools Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia, and make sure that you tell Janie Teeters that the stump sent you everything imaginable for your Christmas joy. 
Good shot of some pretty ladies over there on the Gordon Lee Trojan bench. Thanks, they were real helpful in helping me with the starting lineups for the Gordon Lee Trojans tonight. We're just underway in the second quarter, 16-15 ball game. It's been pretty even, both teams playing good offense and good defense. Good high school, exciting high school football. No, we're not in football, we're in basketball. And this is UCTV, this week in sports. Roddy Bailey, number game 15 week. in the game now, Chig. Bailey in for the Trojans. Moving it inside to McCray. McCray wanting a shot against Jones, but he likes to drive. Outside to Zort. Zort has it stole by Thompson. Thompson's going to take it for the layup. Thompson's layup good. They take an 18-15 lead. Nolan pushing it back up the court for the Trojans. Bailey, pass, deflected, palm, oh. still. Nolan with a deflection, but Jones will handle it. Moving the ball around. Lakeview, you're doing a good job working that perimeter of the Gordon Lee defense, Dave. Jones with the shot. No, he likes to pass it to Parham. Parham wide open. Parham has it stripped by Phillips, but they keep the ball, and there's the big man. Two. Steve, the big man, real powerful. Yeah, showed a lot of strength inside. Got the ball, went back up for the two points. Zort got his hands full covering him. Nolan got the one-on-one -on -one move. He's going to take it to the goal. He's going to be fouled. Well, number 11, Andy Thompson. Might have a good match up there with Nolan against Thompson. Uh, Nolan looked like he had a step on him going by him through the hole that time, Steve. That's right. Chig, in the ball game now, we've got David DeZort, uh, Scott McCary, Chuck Phillips, uh, Andy Nolan at the line, and number 15, Roddy Bailey. For Lady, you've got number 30, Kevin Taylor, number 44, Costner, number 14, J.R. Jones. Jones, number 24, Ryan Coe, and number 11, Andy Thompson. I didn't recognize number Ryan Coe out there without that, uh, fielder's on. Uh, that, without that fielder's glove or that catching equipment on. Don't quite look like the same Ryan Coe. Ryan Coe is a little animal, and he can hit that baseball, Steve. Real tough kid. Andy Nolan hits both ends of a one-and-one. One. Good steal by Scott McCray. McCray. Phillips got the back door, McCray. McCray with a shot. It's going to be blocked. Ryan Coe with the rebound. Here comes the Warriors. Thompson to Costner. Coe open back door. They throw it to him, but good job of playing defense by the Trojans. Phillips doing a good job, trying to strip that ball. Jones with the jumper. Jones jumper off the glass, no good. Rebound, McCray. Here comes Nolan pushing it up. He's got a man open and unable to hit him. Lots to hit the record player. Went right in the concession stand. That would have been good for one free popcorn and a Coke in there. Mr. Coe would have enjoyed that one coming in and visiting. 6.07 to go in the half. 2017 is your score here from Lakeview. Thompson brings it up past the Coe. Coe wants a three-pointer. He'll take it, and it's bottom. Wait a minute now, Chiggs. Somebody forgot to tell that young man he was a baseball player. He's shooting three-pointers out here. Hey, and I'm talking about nailing it. 23-17 lead for the Warriors. Nolan passing it around. Phillips inside against the big man. Blocked by the big man. Thompson once again brings it down to a little point guard to Coe. Coe takes three-pointer, no. Inside to Jones. Jones will be fouled. Several times. A lot of hand slapping in there. Five, 33 to go and a half. One of the line is J.R. Jones to shoot two. That's Jones is the coach's son, isn't he, Chig? Right, J.R. Jones is Jerry Jones' son, so you know he grew up around the basketball. Cole, Cole with rebound. rebound. Cole with a good move. Cole, one hand shot, two points. A lot of body control there by Ryan Cole. Shows great athletic ability. Pass threw away by Nolan. And in the Lady Trojans game last night, we talked about the poor passing, uh, Chig. It looks like it's catching here on the boys tonight. Looks like it's contagious, so Coach Clay Crowder to let to take a timeout. Got a good shot of the late view foot over sort men over there. Former Gordon Lee High School graduate over there is just a coach, Steve. Yeah, we uh, was speaking a while ago about J.R. Jones uh, being the son of Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, one of the probably, Chig, one of the best 
thought of coaches in the area. And I saw a basketball out in the uh, out in the lobby here that had 300 win on since he's been here at Lakeview. And uh, I know that Jerry is well respected and, and considered a very good coach and has the respect of all the coaches in the area. Yeah, and Steve, we covered that 300th win last year. That really was a big win for them. to go time out play crowder trying to regroup they're good shot of the golden lake trojan cheerleaders coach play crowder trying to regroup his trojans they're down eight right here we're talking about runs steve and uh lady put on one of those runs right now yeah and romans are back into the game and uh we need to stop lakeview and uh see if we can't get something going here oh me coach trying to dribble the ball and he's gonna be on the line it looked like it might have been one of those illegal blocks below the waist there, Chig. Tell you something, Cole doesn't play football, Steve, but he looked like he'd make a good linebacker, don't he? Looked like he was going first and goal there to me. Looked like he might have been able to stop him. Romans are having trouble dribbling. J.R. Jones with a foul. Uh, I think Jerry's a little upset with J.R. there, and I don't blame him because it was kind of a sloppy I, I foul. I hate to say a dumb foul, but it's very unnecessary. He's going to bring him over and have a little talk to him. He's got two fouls on him. That's a key factor is the foul trouble that J.R. Jones could get in tonight. Romans are going to line with 4.41 to go in the first half. Parm back in for Jones. Shot up good by Romans. I believe Romans is about four for four or five, five from the line, Chick. He's real good at the free throw line. I look for Gordon Lee to start pressing here, Chig, at the end of the second half. I mean, Looks the like the they half. are going to do it here, Steve. Uh, 25-19, six-point lead for the Warriors. Kind of a loose press, not really a hard press, but they're following them down the court. Sort of a trapping defense. Moving it underneath, he's got the baseline. It's going to be blocked. Rebound, he rebounds his own shot. Kevin Taylor with the offensive rebound and two points. Good effort by number 30, Kevin Taylor. Ball they move around underneath. Desort trying to drive. The big man blocks it. Ryan Cole brings it out there. He slows it down using his head. Pushes it underneath. Taylor. Taylor throws it to the big man. He drives underneath. Unstoppable number 44, Kupner. And he gets that posted up. Just like we've seen Bonner in the girls game Monday night, Steve. Hard to stop. <laughs> Nolan to Romans. And Romans are walking one-on-one. -on -one. Throws it to Phillips. Phillips evidently didn't get a hold of it. Air at pass. We have Wooten. Picker, Picker Wooten and, and Neighbors. Neighbors coming in for the Trojans. 3.46 to go in a half. Back in the game for the for Lakeview is number 42, Chad Everett. So far, Lakeview, I believe, played seven players, and uh, Gordon Lee's played eight, Chick. Lakeview Pulls are working against that trap defense that Gordon Lee's got put on him. Good job right there, getting the ball. Cole throws it out and somehow Parham has the ball. Cole wants it for the three-pointer. Cole drives underneath. He's going to get a foul called on him, charging Brandon Wooten. I remember a lot of times last year, Brandon Wooten does a good job of drawing that charge foul. Yeah, you know, like again there, we saw a little rough play on the outside, and both underneath, and it. Hard to tell from here what happened, but uh, Ryan Cole ends up with the charge. I agree with you. He got rough underneath that time, Steve. Romans, are, he's got the shot out there. He don't want it. He wants Pickard to take it. Pickard at the top of the key. No good. Rebound, Costner. With this Costner uh, young man under there, I think we better start making a high percentage shot because he's going to get the rebound. He's going to break in some rebounds. Ten-point deficit here. Lakeview for Nova Scotia leading the Trojans from Gordon Lee, 29-19. Sound like I heard a buffalo coming through here, Steve. I don't know what that was. He, he walked. Good job, Brandon Wooten. Here comes Nolan. Nolan pushing up. Costner not seeing him. Nolan takes the jumper. No good. In and out. Rebound. Goes to Palm. Chick, there we saw a possibility of having two people open under the goal, and uh, Nolan chooses to pull up and shoot the uh, 
Chuff in the top of the key, and uh, like I said, we need to work the ball in middle because we're not going to get the rebound. There's Costner underneath against Nolan. Charge will make all get Costner. Good job of Nolan drawing the foul. We haven't got an instant replay tonight, have we, Jake? I'd like to see that one again. No instant replay. Jones back in the ball game. 2.19 to go in the first half. Costner must have slung an elbow or something on there. I didn't see the charge. Coach Jerry Jones talking to Costner, trying to sell him down a little bit. Neighbors with the ball. Nolan got it now. Pass underneath the wooden. Wooden drives. He wants the shot. Shot up. No good. Rebound Coe. Coe doing a good job on the rebound. We missed that shot, Chick, but still it's a higher percentage shot, and that's what Gordon Lee needs to be doing right now. Gordon Lee's going to stay in this ball game and cut that 10-point lead. They've got to take that good shot and be patient. They're not as patient as they need to be passing the ball. Coe has the ball stolen. Andy Nolan brings it up. Good pass to Picker. Picker with the shot. Picker's shot good. That's good teamwork right there, Chick. Good job by Nolan and Picker that time. Palm brings it back against the Trojans. Big man in the middle. One eighteen to go, eight point lead by the Warriors. Coe wanted the three pointer, but he'll pass it back to Thompson. Jones opening the wing. Back across to Thompson. Big man's open. Coe wants the shot. No good. Coe rebound. Jump ball. Possession goes to Gordon Lake. Good uh, hustle by Andy Nolan. Uh, possession will go to the Warriors, Chick. Oh, excuse me. I'm looking at the possession, and which way is it pointing? Get a shot of that possession clock there. Which way is that arrow pointing, Steve? It's pointing toward Lakeview Museum. That's, that's, it just changed on me. Thank you. <laughs> Jones with a cross-court pass. Wide Thompson open. With a shot. Brandon Wooten in his face. Right there, Costner got the rebound with Everett jumping. He's so tall, but it's going to be a foul called against Palm. 46 seconds to go in the first half. 29, 21 to score. Going to the line for the Trojans will be Romans. I'm not sure I'd like to be a official for basketball, Chig. Uh, sometimes you notice there'll just be a little touch foul, and it's called, and sometimes we're rolling around out there kicking one another, and there's no foul call. I don't really understand... Uh, the game of basketball that well and officiating of it. Rominger with the shot. First shot up off the front of the rim. Someone in too soon. That'll be a call against Costner. So the Trojans will get another shot. What we call that, Chick? In the lane? In the lane too soon. Rominger with a chance to cut that lead. Shot good. First shot by Romans or seven point lead by the Trojans. Excuse me, by the Warriors. Romans may be 100% in the line tonight, Chig. I'm pretty sure he is. Having a hard time keeping Chig Martin awake up here tonight. I believe he laid out all night last night. He tries to blame it on working, but, uh, well, I can't say that uh, Romans hadn't missed one now because I believe he Romans just missed just the first missed of his one, night. Eight point, seven point lead now, 43 seconds to go. Now, Steve, nobody can see me yawning without you telling them. Going to line would be the big man, Costner. Coming to the ball game is Kevin Taylor. Romans, your father, uh, uh, went to school here, I believe, Chick. He was a graduate of Lakeview High School. Yeah, he's a Lakeview boy at heart. His boys grow, 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 grew. Got older. older and got older <laughs> while they was in the Fort Oak Youth Programs out here also. Costner shot, no good. And you know, Steve, you see a lot of times big men have trouble with the foul shot. Gordon Lee, they're guilty of being in the lane too soon, I think, Chig. Big man's got to get sharp on the foul line because he's going to get a lot of fouls, and that is really pays off to hit those foul shots. Bank shot good by Costner. Costner just about reached the goal from there, Chig. I didn't see this young man last year. This could be a new, 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 new student, or he was not, here and just grew a lot. He's a senior. I'm not sure if he played last year or not, Chick. He, but he is a senior this year. 
junior. Coster is just a junior. 30, 22, 28 seconds to go. Gordon Lee wants the last shot. Did he play last year? Chick, I understand that Costner is a junior, and he moved in here last year, so was ineligible last year, and this is his first year of ineligibility. He is a junior. Okay, I knew I didn't re really see him play last year. Last shot, Gordon Lee wants it. Romans are good pass inside the neighbors. Gordon Lee will have the last shot of the half. So it's a half end here at Lakeview Fort Overthorpe. Your score, Gordon Lee Trojans, 24, the Lakeview Fort Overthorpe Warriors, 30. Steve, any final comments? Check on the last play there, we saw a lot of good teamwork, and that's what it's going to take for Gordon Lee to beat Lakeview. Lakeview's got a lot of height, a lot of outside shooting ability, so Gordon Lee's going to take the good shot, play with the team, and pass the ball around. So, score 30-24. We'll be back after halftime action. Score, Jeff, has everything imaginable for your Christmas joy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas down at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. Trees, wreaths, garlands, Christmas cards, and a large selection of ornaments. They also have nativity scenes, and Janie can fit your color theme that'll match your taste. That's right, whether it be an old Christmas or a new Christmas, stop by and see Janie Teeters. Ornaments like the Santa face chosen by Nancy Reagan for the White House Christmas tree. Whatever your taste is, you can get it at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. New hours, Monday through Friday, from 10 o'clock until 6, and on Saturday, from 10 until 6 also. Christmas cards, Christmas joy, all at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia. Because it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, toys at every store. Stop by and see Jackie Poole's Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia, and make sure that you tell Janie Teeters that the stump sent you everything imaginable for your Christmas joy. We're back to second half action here at uh, Lakeview Fort Overthorpe High School in Lakeview, Georgia. We have a game between the Lakeview Fort Overthorpe Warriors and Gordon Lee Trojans. Our halftime score is Lakeview 30, Gordon Lee 24. Gordon Lee gets the ball in. Ball into Phillips. Pass inside to Romans. The ball gets away. Jones comes up with the ball. Pass down court to number 30. Kevin Taylor, layup good. Nolan brings the ball down for the Trojans. Ball goes to Rominger. Inside the edge, turn around jumper. He'll be fouled by number 14, J.R. Jones, I believe. No, they call they call a foul on Costner. Edge, edge will go to the line for a two-point shot. Edge misses the first of the two-point free throw. Two-shot free throw, excuse me. Second shot, good. 32-25, Lakeview's favor. Ball down to Jones inside for a layup. Two points, good. Steve, back on the way, 34-25 ball game here. 7-20 left in the third quarter. Shot no good. Roman Drew, he'll take the jumper. It's up, it's no good. Rebound. Taylor, he's trying to get outside there. It's going to be a foul called against number 31, Edge. May have been a charge there, Chig. I'm not sure. See so what they're going to call. They're going to call Edge with the body. Lakeview yeah, for they call, they call Edge with the body there, blocking. Don't forget, you're watching. Trojan's going, excuse me, Chig. Trojan's going into about a three-quarter court press here. Half-court trap. That's what that's called. Bring it down the court inside Jones. Jones baseline. Reverse Phillips. layup foul by Chuck Phillips. Yeah, they got Phillips on a blocking foul underneath there on the floor. He goes to the line with a one and one. No, excuse me, it'll be a one shot foul. Uh, Trojan crowd trying to get vocal. No, excuse me, I don't know what I'm talking about. I agree. Number 11, Andy Thompson. You don't have to agree. 
They throw it into Thompson. They got him trapped in the corner. Nolan and Romanger. They get it outside to Taylor. Taylor tries to get it to Thompson. Thompson trying to work it around to Jones. Jones in the corner. Jones with a jumper. Good. 36-25 ball game with 640 to go in the third quarter. He did that with his wrong hand, Chig. Yeah, he does shoot with his wrong hand, doesn't he? Nolan brings him up, works it out there to Edge on the wing. Edge just outside the three-point line. Resort back to Nolan. Nolan wants the shot. Nolan takes it. Shot have a three point going to be good. Chance for a three-point play, Chig, as Nolan goes to the line here with a one-shot free throw. Thompson, his third. third team second in this quarter. My source of information, Mr. Ronnie Cobb here, has now informed me, Chig, that Costner is a sophomore. All right, good shot of Lakeview for those sort of cheerleaders over there. And three-point play for Andy Nolan, 36-28 ball game. Lakeview brings it up. Nolan going to get caught with a foul? No, Edge with the foul. 31, Chris Edge. Have an eight point game here, Chick. Uh, middle of the second quarter. Well, early in the third quarter, excuse me. Inbound pass. Lady gets it to Jones. Jones out top of the key. Stripped from him from behind by Andy Nolan. Good hustle there by Nolan. Nolan is a hustler. He gives you 110% on the court, Chig, uh, at all times. In the past, in his younger years, it caused him a lot of foul trouble, Steve. Yeah, but I haven't seen Nolan in foul trouble this year, I don't believe. That comes with age and being a senior, having a little bit more control. Jones with the jumper off the side of the backboard, Desort with the rebound, out to Nolan. Nolan's got Romanger if he sees him. He does see him, good lead. Romanger takes his time. Pass back to Edge. Great job. Edge play. misses the shot underneath. Rebound Nolan. Nolan with the shot. Two points. Andy Nolan. Beautiful play there. The passing chip. Romans to Chris Edge underneath. He's unable to make it. Make the goal good. And then uh, heads up ball play by Andy Nolan comes in and gets a rebound for the layup. One lead Trojans chasing the man with the ball. Inside the cost. There's going to be a foul on number 23. The Zork. I don't understand that call, Chig. He had his hand on the ball. If he wanted to call a foul, he should have called it about two seconds earlier. Looked like a jump ball. How much do we get paid for doing this, Chig? We get paid a dollar two ninety-eight. A little bit of trash yep. on the court. Kelly Hill, former Gordon Lee graduate and assistant coach at Lakeview, put over the court, comes out and that's what this coach gets paid to do, whatever the head coach do want to do. Pass back out to top, Thompson. Thompson trying to operate that offense for the Warriors. Palm into Costner. Ball going to be out of bounds. Gordon Lee, Trojan ball. With, with Costner's height and size, he should have leaped up and got that ball, Chig. No doubt. He didn't hustle on that, Steve. A lot of times a big man won't hustle. Nolan with a three-pointer up and good. Nolan cuts it to three-point lead for the Warriors and the Trojans taking away at that lead right there. See, five minutes to go. Nolan with three three-pointers tonight. Three for three. Inside, working on the Gordon Lee offense is number 30, Kevin Taylor. Pass down court to Rominger. Oh, no, behind the back. Gets the ball stolen. Nolan gets it, passes it back to Rominger. Good job. Rominger trying to move Costner with the block. Costner gets the ball, and here comes J.R. Jones and the Warriors. J.R. Jones leads this man too far. It'll be out of bounds. Four thirty-seven to go in the quarter. Thirty-eight, thirty-three. Five-point lead for the Warriors. Nolan brings the ball down, Chig. Nolan drives in the knees, blocked by Costner. Inside, back out to Costner. Palm on the wing. Palm wants to shot, but it's blocked by Chuck Phillips. Phillips with the ball. Phillips doing a good job of driving it down. Phillips with the shot up, no good. Foul against number 30, Kevin Taylor. Phillips, for a big man, showed pretty good ball handling ability there, Chief. A little bit of movement on getting up and down that court that time, Steve. 
And you know, you, uh, people that never played basketball don't realize how much, when you're dribbling the ball, how much that slows you down. And Chuck moved right on down the ball, right on down the court for a 210 pound man. 408, 38, 33 lead for the Warriors of Lakeview, Fort Overthorpe. Chuck Phillips has a chance to cut that lead for the Trojans. Phillips at the line. Shot up. Good by Phillips. Good touch for a big man there with free throw. Take a shot up. Good. Three-point lead again by the Warriors. Trap defense trying to be put in play by the Trojans. Edge, Nolan, chasing whoever's got the ball. Right now they're chasing Palm. Coe with the ball. Coe will take a three-pointer if he gets it. He's been hot out there. J.R. Jones on the wing. Back to Coe. Lakeview, Fort Oakland trying to settle it down. J.R. with a shot. Shot up. No good. Off the front rim. Desort with a rebound. Edge with the ball. He moves it to Nolan, and here comes the Trojans. Nolan wants a three-pointer if he can get it right there to cut that lead. Romanger loses the ball out of bounds, but it's off a Lakeview Fort Overcourt Warrior hand, so the big one Lake, ball. Lakeview's ball? Trojan's ball. Looked like Lakeview's ball. Nolan, three-point shot up, and it's no good, but Nolan's going to be fouled by number 24, Ryan Cole. Does he get to shoot three from the line, Jig? No, he don't. He just gets to shoot two. That's not a bad idea. Nolan, first he, time he's missed from the three-point line, of course, he's we can't knocked about three rows up that time by Ryan Cole. We can't call that a miss, can we? I don't know what you can call it. A four Smith. I don't think that counts against him. I still think he's three for three. Nolan's first shot, no good. <laughs> Nolan right here with a chance to cut that 38-35 lead to two. Second shot by Nolan. Up, good. We've got a two-point lead for the Warriors of Lady for those sorts. Cole brings it down. Moves it over to Jones. Jones back to Cove. Underneath Palm, wide open. He's going to be fouled by Chuck Phillips. Three-point possibility. Chance for a three-point play here. In the game, we have Wooten, Neighbors, and Pickard. Coming out is Edge, Desort, and Phillips. Four point lead, chance to make it five right here, Steve, for Palm and his Warriors. Shot by Palm, good, and they take a five point lead with 3.14 to go. Romans are back to Nolan. Nolan is going to bring it down. Man-to-man -man coverage by the Warriors. Wooten at the top. Nolan with the ball. Nolan driving. Nolan wants the shot. He's got it. Off the front of the rim. He follows the shot. Good save out of bounds. Romans are with a good move. Off the front of the rim. Romans are fighting for the rebound. Romans are puts it back up. No good. Right there, 44. The big man Costner is supposed to take control there, Steve, and he didn't take control. Hey, Brandon Root Wooten got a little over anxious there, and uh, Ryan Cole draws a foul, Chig. The Romans are walking back down the court for the Trojans. Cole to the line. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Nolan. Nolan to bring it down the court. One-on-one -on -one pass behind his back to Romanger. A good pass by Romanger back to Nolan, two points. Romanger never seen that behind the back pass by Nolan, did he, Steve? I'm not sure it's a real good pass, Chig, under the circumstances. We're behind. We need to make conservative passes and, and make the good shot. Three-point lead by Lakeview Fort Oldsport. J.R. Jones with the ball. Back to John. Coe with the ball. Ryan Coe outside, back into number 30, Taylor. Taylor. Shot by Palm, going to be fouled against Kevin Pickard. There, Palm gets, Palm gets position on the layup, and Kevin Pickard has to reach in. Shot 
shot up good by Palm. Costner goes out of the game, and number 42, Chad Everett, enters the game for Lakeview, Chig. 42-38 lead, 2.13 to go in the third quarter. Palm second shot good. They take a five-point lead. Also in Drummond the game. Drummond's hustling up the court right there, but Parham doing a good job of hustling, running it out of bounds. Steve? Uh, I was talking when I've been listening to you. I don't even know what I was going to say. That sounds like a woman to me. I know I'd what you mean. I'd that, wouldn't I? Yeah, you could. Pass out of bounds. No one of those fouls I didn't pick up on there, Chig. I didn't spot that one either. Well, I know they can see better than down here, and uh, Dean Peters is a good official, so I'm sure he saw Now, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, a lot of things I might say, but I don't know if I'd make that statement on TV. <laughs> I like Dean Peters, but I wouldn't go out on the limb. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors to the line, Chig. Front end, one and one, good. Chance to bring it to a three-point game here, Chig. Neighbors hits both shots. It's a three-point lead. 2.02 to go in the third quarter. Been Any, pretty evenly matched third quarter, hasn't it? Anybody's ball game. Trojans play a little more conservative, passing the ball around, playing as a team. Inside, it's going to be a block by Brandon Wooten, and they're going to call a foul. Looked like a face mask to me. It was a pretty rough little foul there. I'd say we drop back 10 and punt. 43-40, going to the line, and we'll be number 30. Kevin Taylor. Scott McCary comes back into the game. Chip yep. Romanger leaves. A little rest here for Chip. Does McCary play any other sports besides basketball? He plays tennis, but he's another what I call natural athlete and could have probably played anything. I think he's, real, he's a real good tennis player, I think, and uh, maybe number one on the tennis team. I'm not sure about that, but uh, I know he is a tennis player and does a good job at it. Shot no good. Rebound. Late before those over. Palm has it. Ball off. It'll be brought down by McCrary. No. Late before those over still has it. Palm back with the rebound again. Out to Ryan Cole. And they'll set up the Warrior offense. Cole tries to force the pass inside. Wooten knocks it out of bounds. It'll be late before those over. Ball. I think it makes these games hard to call, I guess, Chig. You know, sometimes it looks like it's real rough out there, and then sometimes just a little tap draws a foul. And I, I don't really understand how the game is officiated. It's a hard game to officiate, really. You either got to call it real conservative or let the boys play ball. I guess it's like football or any other sport. I guess you could call a foul or a, a penalty on every, on every play. Levy being real patient, waiting for the shot right there. Coe was shot up. Coe shot no good. Rebound. Rebound number 42. Chad Evans. Ryan Cole shows a lot of athletic ability there. Ryan, what, probably 5'9", Chig, and he goes up and puts a layup. 5'9", I'd say 5'8", 5'9". He puts he a little jumper up under there inside on 2'6", 5", man, and gets the shot off. Good hustle by number 30, Kevin Taylor. Nolan with a three-pointer. It's up. It's no good. Rebound Palm. He's going to be down on his back. No, that's not Palm. That's number 30, Kevin Taylor. Foul going to be called against Taylor. I believe Ryan Cole's a little taller than that, Chig. These boys will fool you. He's just wide. That's another one of those fouls there. I don't. I didn't see. I must have looked Taylor up a little late. Taylor agree with it, shaking his head as he stands there waiting on the foul shot. Tyler coming out of the ball game, coming in is Costner. Scott McCary to the line, Chig. First shot by McCary, no good in and out. Rebound, going to be jump ball possession going with Lakeview. Port Lakeview. Port. Brings them up for the Warriors. Yeah. 
Good pass in the Coke. Coke throws it out of bounds to the big Gordon Lay ball. Coach Jerry Jones a little upset there, Chick, and I don't blame him. They had the position inside and let the ball get away from him. Evidently, Steve, the coaches this year can get back up off the bench. They've got a line they're supposed to stay within. If you see those two white lines on either side of Coach Jones and Coach Crowder over there, they're supposed to stay within that line. They can get up. And they can walk to the edge of that line coming out this way? Yeah, but I believe all coaches are stretching a little bit this year, as we just saw. No doubt about it. And in the past, they've had to stay seated or it was a technical foul. Cole going to get a body foul. There eight seconds to go. Trojans trying to cut that five-point lead of the Warriors. Chick, we apologize here for our inability to do this basketball game, but it is a little tough, and we invite anyone who'd like to try it a chance. Anyone besides Ed Steck of Chattanooga Valley. Because we would not have time to see the ball game because he'd have the stream blurred with all his hot air. <laughs> We're being harsh on Ed tonight, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not giving Ed any harder time than he gives me, Chick. There ain't no doubt about it, Steve. 45 41 to score. Nolan hits both of them, cuts it again to three point. Nolan trying to hustle. Cole hustling up. Cole wants the shot. Last shot up. No good. Palm will take a last shot at the buzzer. That's good. Good that's score. A, that's good. He got the shot off in time, Chig. At the buzzer, the ball goes in for Palm. So what could have been a three point lead is a five point lead in the third quarter. They view Fort Oglethorpe 47. Trojans are going to leave 42. Let's take it, take it back right across the road over here to UCTV Studios, UCTV, this week in sports. Basketball game of the week. We'll be back. And I was on Lafette Road in Fort Oglethorpe to get the hamburger Georgia waited for. Rick uses only fresh ingredients, crisp lettuce, juicy red tomatoes, American cheese, fresh onions, pickles, mustard, and ketchup to make the best hamburger you've ever eaten. That's the hamburger Georgia waited for. Rick Buss Armando's on Lafette Road in Fort Oglethorpe. But if you don't want a hamburger, try his new cold cut hoagie. Delicious. Rick Buss Armando's. I'm Al Millard. I want to thank all the voters of Walker County. for your Christmas joy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas down at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. Tree. Uh, Clay Crowder, Coach Garland, Clay Crowder. Christmas cards and a large selection of ornaments. They also have nativity scenes and Janie can fit your color theme that'll match your taste. That's right. Whether it be an old Christmas or a new Christmas, stop by and see Janie Teeters. Ornaments like the Santa face chosen by Nancy Reagan for the White House Christmas tree. Whatever your taste is, you can get it at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop. New hours Monday through Friday from 10 o'clock until 6 and on Saturday from 10 until 6 also. Christmas cards, Christmas joy, all at Jackie's Pool's Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia. Because... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys at every store. Stop by and see Jackie Pool's Christmas Shop, Highway 27 South in Chickamauga, Georgia, and make sure that you tell Janie Teeters that the stump sent you everything imaginable for your Christmas joy. Coach Clay Crowder is going to leave there giving his Trojans a few last-minute instructions and we'll get back to fourth quarter to play. Here we go. Five-point lead by the way, these four little Warriors. Gordon Lee Trojans have the ball. Can they cut that lead and get back in the lead? Or will Lakeview Fuller Throw maintain that lead for the win? Men scrambling all around on the foul. Chuck Phillips just ripped it away. Throws it inside Roddy Bailey. Roddy Bailey, two points. Good hustle by Chuck Phillips. Very good, very good. Uh, 
I say thank you to our fine sponsor. That's a nice ball game, Rick Buff, Armando's, Jackie's Pool, Christmas Shop, This Week in Sports, UCTV, and Doyle's Pond Shop. On the replay, this foul may show up, Chig, but I don't know what happened unless David Desort stepped on J.R. Jones's foot. I didn't, I didn't see a foul, but I, I'll, have to, I'll have to admit I wasn't looking, so Jones goes to the line. Jones, Jones has had the cold hand and out palm with the rebound. Roddy Batty pulls it out of there. He dribbles the ball again, double dribble, and they didn't catch it. That was double dribble, big time. Pass to Nolan, Nolan one-on-one, -on -one. he's got the shot. Good job there, Roddy Bailey to Nolan. They cut the lead to one, 47-46, late for those sort of lead. Andy Nolan shows great leap, leaping ability there, Chig, and almost gets up to the rim with that layup. Sure did, I didn't realize Andy jumped that well. Yeah, uh, I've seen him dunk a basketball before. He's a, quite a leaper for his height. I didn't say leper, I said leaper. 7-0-1 to go in the ball game. Parham with the ball, trying to find somebody open. He finds Thompson, top of the key. Back to Palm. They're taking their time working against that zone defense. I believe that's a man-to-man, -man, excuse me. Costner wide open, two points, Costner. Chuck Phillips got his hands full of that big man. Chuck Phillips goes for the seal there and doesn't get it, so that leaves Costner wide open for the layup. Three-point ball game once again. Nolan's chance to hit one of those three-pointers and put them back in the tie. Cross-court pass to Romans, and Romans will take the ball. He drives Phillips' foul shot. Bottom. Phillips with a jumper from the foul line there, brings it back to a one-point game, 49-48. Bad pass. 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 Oh, Good man. job of defense, but Desort unable to hold on to it to be out of bounds. 6.17 to go. We got a 49-48 ball game. Exciting game of the week here on UCTV. Had a chance there to force a turnover, Chig, and were unable to hold on to the ball. Moving around is Thompson. Back across the palm. Palm inside to 42. Chad Evett. White ball. ball I going to white. It. Chip Rominger hustling for the ball. Kicks the ball out of bounds. 6 to go, 49-48 to score. Outside to Evan. Evan hands it back to Thompson. He's going to set up the offense. Wanting to get it to J.R. Jones. They've done a good job of shutting down J.R. Jones tonight. Dort covering Jones right now. Thompson covered by Nolan. Nolan wanting to go for the steal. He has quick hands. The possibility he can get a steal right there. That would be a big play right now for the Trojans, a big turnover and point. Lakeview showing their offense. Right, Lakeview showing a lot of po poise, Chig, uh, working the ball around, taking their time. They're going to they're gonna make sure when they shoot, they get the two. Fine coach ball team is this Lakeview for Low Thorpe Warriors with Coach Jerry Jones. Like Steve said, over 300 wins in his career. Not a lot of people can say that. We'll have to call him the dean of North Georgia basketball coaches. Palm looking at a shot. He doesn't want it. He's dribbling inside to Jones. Jones will take a turnaround jumper off the front of the rim. And we rebound. And it's going to be a foul against Abbott. I've never seen Joe Jones this cold. He has got the cold hand. Well, he's got a cold hand right now, but he's probably still shooting about 65 or 70 percent tonight. That's true. Talk about him being wrong-handed. He sure does look right being wrong-handed, though. 4.57 to go. Desort with a chance to tie up the ball game here in the fourth quarter for the Trojans. Chance to tie it up on the first shot and uh, go ahead on the second. I believe we got uh, Chip Rominger's got a finger and eye or something over there, Chig. We're having to do a little first aid on him. See coaches McWhorter and Crowder working on Rome's over there. They're doing something in his eye. Does he wear contacts, maybe? No, he doesn't wear contacts. Uh, must have something in his eye. We can get a shot of his dad sitting down there. He looks quite concerned in the stands here, Mr. Rominger. Yeah. Same guy a while ago that was trying to knock her camera down, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah, it's him. I don't believe he's concerned. I believe he's asleep. Uh, I don't know if he's asleep or not. I don't know. You reckon Mr. Rominger's asleep down there? 
I thought he was asleep, and he's down here awake uh, as we watch the ball we game. We had to tonight. need him down there to get him to turn around and look at him. Down in front of Romans there, we see uh, uh, Mr. Irwin, who used to be a quarterback here at Gordon Lee, I believe. I mean, what did I say? I will claim him, though, because the best I remember, he's, he's a lot older than me, of course, but uh, the best I can remember, he was a pretty good quarterback. But he did go to Lakeview when they were over here on... Uh, I just had a cross street. Well, you can get your speeding ticket real easily if you're not real careful. That's correct. You know, we've got some great law enforcement officials in uh, Walker and Catoosa County area. Uh, returning as sheriff, you got in Catoosa County. Ronnie Bowman re-elected sheriff of Catoosa County. And, of course, we got a new sheriff coming in, uh, Al Millard. Look for fine things out of both these gentlemen in the years to come here in the sheriff election race. Uh, both of them just recently won. Yeah, well, Ronnie's in his second term, Tig, and then... Uh, Al Millard, he'll have his first term in Walker County. We're informed that Chip's eye may be cut here, uh, uh, Tig. We, got any, we, need a, we need a corner man here from a boxing team. We got one? No doubt about it, and that hurts. The elbow right on the bridge of that eye bone. I guarantee you he'll open it right up, just like a boxer. Yeah, they Evidently, it's bad enough for stitches. They're calling his dad to come across. Chuck Phillips with the rebound on Nolan's shot. It's going to be a foul call. And Steve, uh, Romans are uh, having some bad luck so far this year with the injury. Yeah, been hurt. Been had the bruised hip pointer, the bruised ribs, and now probably a cut eye. And as you said, Chig, that the bone right above the eye in the eyebrow, it's a very easily placed Eight, very easy place to cut. And basketball players get it a lot. Elbow. Close up on the camera here, on our second camera here, Chig, shows it's a pretty good cut right across the eyebrow. Two shots, foul. And unable to hit the first one, Chuck Phillips, this one. It's whether they can tie it up or not with 455. Pressure on Phillips. Phillips shots up. Tie ball, ball game, Tig. Anybody's ball game now. 455 to go in the fourth quarter. We got an exciting ball game here in Lake Jupiter Thorpe. Thompson with the ball. Pass underneath. Joe Jones working on the Zort. Zort's going to get the call with the foul. There we see the, what, what we were talking about earlier. Uh, of course, uh, the Zort did lay his hand on J.R. Jones's hip, and uh, I guess that's a foul when he's moving with the ball, but, you know, we see... We see a little rough play every, every now and then, nothing called, and there we see the Zort laying his hand on J.R. Jones, and uh, he, gets, he draws the foul. He goes to the line, chance to bring on a two-point lead. Uh, his first shot gives uh, Lakeview a one-point lead, Tig. 51-49, Lakeview for over four. Lady takes the lead with 440 goes, steal by Thompson. Thompson, number 11, and Thompson shows good steal there on the, good hustle on the inbound pass, takes the steal, but his foot's on the line. Lady comes with full court press, Chig. Phillips with the ball, big man dribbling. Here comes Picker, and he's got a lot of speed. Picker running the offense. Two-point lead by Lady for They get the ball to Nolan. Nolan with the jumper. Nolan's jumper, good. Turn around jumper from the key, 51, 51 with four, 19 to go here in the fourth final quarter action. Nolan on defense, trying to make something happen. Ryan Coe, he's moving it around underneath the palm. Palm back to Coe, Coe with three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Nolan, Nolan's gonna bring it back up. He's gonna pass to Bailey, Bailey throws it back to Pickard. People flying everywhere. After Picker once again, it's top of the keys to Zort. Picker settles down, trying to slow us offense down. Gordon Lee with a chance to take the lead, and it's been a while since they lead. Bailey underneath. Bailey have to throw it back to Nolan. Nolan three-pointer. No good. Rebound, Picker. Picker with a good move. He'll take the jumper. Bottom. Bottom. Gordon Lee takes the lead, 53-51. The difference in this ball game, Chick, may be, I don't want to put pressure on him, but maybe David Desort's ability to cover J.R. Jones. Could happen. But Jones is the man they want to go to right now when it's going to get tough. We're at the three-minute mark, 53-51 to score. 
charm of the ball. Lakeview, can they stay real patient as they have against this defense the Trojans have got? Yeah, they are going to freeze the ball for a while. Parham with the drive. Parham's going to have a foul call. A foul on the floor by 21. Kevin Pickard, I believe, Chief. Chip Rominger re-enters the game. Uh, appears I got some bad information again from my information man over here, Ronnie Cobb. He says no. He says, boy, it's tough, but they got a good corner man in over there on the boxing I team and got this bleeding stop. Steve, I think he called his dad over, asked his dad if they wanted him to still play, and his dad gave him permission to let him stay in there to the end of the game. All joking aside, Chick, that's, exactly, that's exactly what they did. They called his father over and got his okay for him to play with a cut eye. You're exactly right. One point ball game. Chance to tie the ball game. Palm. Palm shot up. No good. Rebound Chuck Phillips. Phillips going to bring it out of there himself. Phillips has his trip. Rominger's got the ball. Rominger loses the ball. Gordon Lee's ball off of number 30, Kevin Taylor. Gordon Lee with a lead of one point. Chance to go to a three point lead with 255. This is where good passes and good shots come in right now, Tig. Tigger it out top. They're going to start the offense. Need to shoot the percentage shot and make the good passes. It's getting rough underneath, Steve. Sure is. A lot of elbows and hips under there. Oh, Tigger man. Tigger loses the ball to Thompson. Thompson brings it down. He likes to slow it down. Thompson moves it underneath. Phillips with a good move. Yeah, no. Ball be out of against Lakeview. Bad call, Chig. Uh, as we saw from here, no one touched the ball from the Gordon Lee team. It was definitely out on Lakeview. 53-52. The way I can tell is Ronnie Cobb's film man here has a big grin on his face, so I know it was the wrong call. Cross to Coe. Coe wants a three-pointer, but he'll throw it underneath to Jones. Coe, once again, he'll drive. He walked, Coe had to walk, and he did. Gordon Lee with the ball, 2.13 to go on the clock, 53-52. They've got a lead over the home team, Lakeview for those foot warriors. Gordon Lee gets a second chance here, Chig. They need to capitalize on this this move down the court, trip down the court. Need to need two points, need to work around for the good shot. Right there, Rominger with the good shot. He takes it, no good. Pickard trying to get the rebound. Jones will have the rebound, and here comes Lakeview for the court. Thompson bringing it up. Coe on the wing. Blocked by Andy Nolan. There again, you underestimate the leaping ability of Nolan. Nolan got up and had a chance. Pass. Coe penetrating. Coe with a shot. Up and good. Two points in the lead for Ryan Coe and the late view for the Fort Warriors. Ryan Coe shows a lot of good hustle there. Gets the rebound, puts it back up for two, Chig. 1.30 to go. We're getting down toward the end of this UCTV Boys Game of the Week. Right there, Nolan trying to hold on to the ball. Thompson had to foul him, but they don't call it. So Picker starts offense over again, 115. 54-53 to the lead for the Lakeview Philosophy. Nolan back door is wide open. Bottom two points. Good play right there. Lakeview fans wanted a wanted a walking call on Nolan there. Gordon Lee fans wanted a foul. The, neither one got their wish. 55-54. We're under one minute to play on the UCTV. Game of the week. It's exciting. Boys action here. Jones wants it. He's a man with the time and bottom. J.R. Jones. When he gets tough, that's the man like you put over it wants with the ball. So here comes the Trojans. Andy Nolan wants to call a timeout. 56-55 to score with 41 seconds. What do you do here, Tig? Do you, do you go for one shot and hope you make it, or do you, do you run down to 8 or 10 seconds and shoot it, or what, what do you think the strategy here will be? Strategy here, I would have to go for the shot. I'd have to go for the final shot and uh, hope you can hit it, get it to the person you want to have it. Well, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure what to do. A lot of coaches would want to go ahead and shoot the ball and uh, go down and go ahead and hope for Lakeview to make a mistake, but... Uh, we could ask one of these pretty young ladies to think they can tell us what's going on. No, I don't believe they know anything. Oh, excuse me, I was talking about you talking about another pretty young lady. Those two, those two there, Matt. But uh, I thought you were talking about my wife down there. I knew she didn't know what was going on. But uh, I believe that uh, I believe that Crowder will come down, and uh, I believe Coach Crowder will tell his boys to come down, work for the good shot, and shoot it up right now. And, uh, I believe Andy Nolan will be the man with the shot. I don't believe they'll stall and wait for the, the last shot. I believe they'll go ahead and shoot it up. Who do you think will take the shot, Nolan? I think Nolan might take the shot, but uh, I, think they, I, think they need, I think they need to try to work it to the middle to the open man. 
and not say, you know, such a person's going to shoot, but just uh, see if we can get it worked to the middle and get the open man for the layup. Well, here we go. 41 seconds to go, Steve. We're going to find out. 56 55. Jared Jones with the jumper to take the lead for Lake View Foot Overthor. Romans is inbound pass to Pickard. They're going to set it up for one shot. Looks like one shot. Inside the Romans are Romans are covered by Palm. Nolan cross it across. There's a good pass in. Phelps with the shot. They take the lead. 30 seconds to go. Toe will take a timeout. Lake View Foot Overthor and Coach Jerry Jones are going to talk about it with 27 seconds to go. Gordon Lee Trojans have the lead, 57-56. This is a heck of a ball game. Real good ball game, exciting ball game. One point difference here, and uh, of course, the field, uh, field goal right now will make it uh, a lead by Lakeview, and Gordon Lee will still have time to shoot the ball. So now, the decision's on the shoulders of Coach Jerry Jones, who will take the last shot, go ahead and uh, shoot the ball up, as Coach Cratter chose to do and uh, hope for a miss by Gordon Lee. So I don't really know what the strategy will be. You were talking about working in the inside and underneath to the open man. Chuck Phillips in the paint with a big shot there to take the lead. I think you've got to take those high percentage shots, Chig, and if you'll do it day in and day out, you'll come out a winner. Uh, you know, a lot of these kids like to shoot these three-point plays, and when you're hot, you're very successful. But, uh, you know, if a, if a man could hit 50% of those shots, I guess he could ride his ticket as a professional basketball player. Coach Bobby Knight in Indiana has been real successful that UT has tried to go to three-point shot more this year to self the ball. Uh, a lot of teams have been real successful with their bat in college, Steve. But, of course, it takes a good ball player to make it to the college level, and then he's got that ability to hit that consistent three-point shot. Bringing it up, J.R. Jones. That's the man I say will get the last shot. It's down in 15 seconds. They're going for the win. Thompson with the drive. Thompson's going to be fouled by Nolan. Bucket won't count because it was way before the shot. Yeah, the foul came about the free throw line. Coach Jerry Jones calling for the point to be good. but Steve, with 13 seconds to go, that may not be a bad foul. A lot of pressure. I'd call timeout right there. Oh, I wouldn't let him go on the line. Timeout. Give him time to think about it. Think about it. I tell you, though, uh, Thompson showed a lot of poise. I just about put my money on him right now. I agree with you, Steve. Uh, he's got to hit both of them to go ahead. If he hits one, it's a tie ball game. 13 seconds to go. Folks, you're watching it right here on Cable Vision 3, UCTV, this week in sports. Game of the week. And it's a barn burner. It's been a good one. A lot of pressure on the young man here, Chick. Uh, number 11, Andy Thompson. Uh, I believe Thompson is a senior. and I just believe the young man will go to pull himself together and go to the line and make these two points and put the pressure back on Gordon Lee. We'll, uh, momentarily, we'll find out here. Of course, he'll have to make the front end of the one-and-one. One. If he does not make the front end of the one-and-one, one, Gordon Lee gets a rebound. Uh, you can just about say it's a ball game. Look for Lakeview to foul Gordon Lee underneath uh, in case uh, he misses the first of the one-and-one. Uh, one. Good shot of Coach Sunny Day over there from Lakeview. Going the lines, number 11, Andy Thompson. Chance to put his team ahead. Bring in number one and one. Thompson, a lot of time to think about it over the timeout. Coach Crowder discussing what he wanted to do and what situation, if he misses or he makes it. We'll find out right here what Thompson's going to do. Shot up. Good. High ball game. A lot of pressure. There's a biggie right here. A lot of pressure on the young man right there. Looks like that uh, Jerry Jones, I'm not second guessing, looks like he'd have his big man inside for the rebound right now, but they're over on the bench. I agree, I'd have to have my two big men in there. Second shot by Thompson, good. They take a one point lead. Here comes the Trojans, Andy Nolan pushing it up. They'll call a timeout. 10 seconds to go. They're going for one final shot to win the ball game. There's no doubt now. Clay Crowder showed, we talked about Jerry Jones, and I think Clay, Clay Crowder just showed great coaching ability here because he's in the seat where we need to be right now. Uh, I believe he's in control of this game. He's got 10 seconds to go, plenty of time to make the shot. He's, he's got his uh, late views ahead by one point. I like Gordon Lee's chances right now real well, Chig. Thompson's showing a lot of points. Steve stepping up there, busting both those free throws, making it a 58-57 late view for those short lead with 10 seconds to go. Right now, we'll see. Trojans are going to take one last shot. They either win it or they'll lose it right here. I look for them to work it inside again, but with uh, 
Let's see if Coach Jerry Jones puts his big man back inside. Uh, I believe it'd be a good move if he did. Again, I'm not trying to second guess him, but uh, I'd put the big man inside to stop the layup and force Gordon Lee to shoot the outside shot, Chick. I would have to do the same thing. If they go to the outside shot, look for Chip Rominger and Andy Nolan or Kevin Pickard out here. They go underneath the big man, number 13, Chuck Phillips. Big men back in the ball game, number 44, Costner. That's going to make it difficult to shoot that un shot underneath. Foul. If they foul, Gordon Lee will have a chance to go ahead. Anything can happen. We're at 10 seconds on the UCTV. Boys, basketball, game of the week. Here we go, inbounds pass. Having trouble getting it in. Phillips has it. Back to Romans. The Romans is going to take the last shot. Romans is driving. It's going to be fouled by number 30, Kevin Taylor, with six seconds to go. Romans are to the foul line with a chance to tie or win the ball game. Five fouls for Taylor. That's it for him. 42 is sad evident in the ball game. Romans are a chance to shoot one and one. The Twitter is surging ahead. Oh, that pressure, we're going to call a timeout. Late view for over Thorpe and let Chip Romans think about it. From what we've seen tonight, Chick, I'd, uh, I guess Romans is the best man we could have to the line. I think he's only missed like one free, free throw out of all these trips to the line, so Gordon Lee's chances look pretty good. Of course, six after seconds the, to go. After the free throw, we've still got six seconds to go if they can get to a timeout here and get the ball in. Uh, lately, he's got a chance to come back, even if Gordon Lee makes both of these. Of course, if Romans are hit past the one and one, you know we're going to overtime. Right, and Steve, you can't ever, can't ever forget, Romans is probably the most, the best percentage free throw shooter on the team. Well, I could not the man I'd want to put at the line. I'd, uh, I don't, I'm not sure about that, Chick. I don't know uh, the percentages, but I know I feel like tonight he's uh, he's our highest percentage shooter tonight from the free throw line, and uh, I like Gordon Lee's chances right now. Now, of course, if we, I guess Coach Crowder, I'm sure he told these boys, if we make one or both of these, we don't need to do any fouling on the inbounds play. We definitely don't need a foul and send them back to the line. Coach Jerry Jones using a little bit of brain power. He'll put a, more ice on the back of Chip Rominger. What did Coach Jerry Jones call a, a second time out there? Additional time out to really make him think about it. Well, I'm sure he wants to talk about his strategy. Uh, you know, if we make the front end one and one, miss the back end. If we make both of them, what he's going to do? Uh, as I said, Gordon Lee surely doesn't need to foul anyone if we if if they make one or both. We don't need to put Lakeview back to the foul line this late in the game. I'd say Gordon Lee come with a full court press if we make one or both these shots. Yeah, I agree with you there. Here we go. This time, Roman sure will get a chance to shoot it. Last time I was in this gym last year, Chick came down to a last second shot by Andy Nolan, and uh, we thought he was fouled. It looked like one of those uh, illegal blocks, but uh, officials chose not to call the foul, so Lakeview won the I last knew, time we were here. I knew it was going to get noisy when Rominger got ready to shoot. Here we go. First shot by Rominger, one and one. Off the front of the rim. Gordon Lee doesn't get the ball. They have to foul Palm with three seconds to go. A lot of pressure on the young man there. Chip Rome just played tough tonight, and he has nothing to hang his head about, Chig. No, the ball game not over yet. 58-57, Palm going to the line. Gordon Lee with maybe one more chance to get the ball. Start a chorus of hey, 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 goodbye. Three seconds to go. Anything can happen. Palms got to hit both of these to put it. Well, it's not really out of reach with a three point go. Palm with the shot here. Gordon Lee forces have to get the rebound and get out quick. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Gordon Lee. Romans are with the last shot, no good. As time runs out here, Steve, and Lakeview Fort Overthrow, it's been a great ball game, 58-57. Lakeview Fort Overthrow with the win. 
The strategy there may have been to miss that shot, Tig. It looked, certainly looked like it was. No doubt about it, if he misses it, right there, it makes it easy for him to get down. So as time runs out here at Lakeview Fort Overthorpe, your final score, 58, Lakeview Fort Overthorpe. Gordon Lee, 57. Thanks to Steve Tarbin for his time tonight and to Gabe Johnson, who's brought to you the camera work tonight in the Jackie Pool Christmas Shop. Rick Buffs, Armando's, and Doors Pawn Shop for UCTV Sports. UCTV, Game of the Week. You'll see this game. It's on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. Thanks to Steve, Tig Martin. We're saying bye. We're gone.